for a simple board to build during this fall season, then this video is for you. In today's episode, I'm going to be making my first fall board of the season. And I was truly inspired by this gorgeous board that I will have linked below from Target. It was from the Hearth and Hand collection that Joanna Gaines and Chip did together. And it's just this long rise, beautiful board that's somewhat narrow. And so it just inspired me to build something and have and start the festive season off on a beautiful note. So if that is something you're interested in, then continue watching. If we are meeting for the first time, my name is Jordan and this is Amazing Grace Boards. And on this channel, I build charcuterie boards. I do it because I have a passion for it, but I also love to entertain my friends and family. So if that's something you also love as well, then consider subscribing. I don't think I mentioned this enough, but usually before I start building my board or even filming, I'm always prepping, uh, washing fruit, pulling out all, cutting up the meat and cheese and pulling out the crackers, everything that I can prep beforehand, I try to do off camera. So that Stilton was actually cut in half. So I had a whole extra piece for another board for a different day. I added some Marcona almonds and now I am just filling in this cute little boat that is a bamboo boat and I will link that below. These are perfect for options when you're kind of presenting this to somebody and you know you're probably not going to get it at the end of the night. These are great because they're disposable and I love them. But either way, my, I, my train of thought here is add all the big things. So that cheese, some of these bigger crackers, that's like a fig and walnut cracker, which is great. And I added the log of goat cheese and now I'm gonna add some of the fruit. So this was a mixture of strawberries and raspberries. And now I'm just like I had put right next to the Stilton, the Marcona almonds. I wanted to make sure that I had other nuts as a filler or dried fruit or whatever that might be. So those were the walnuts and they were just raw walnuts. And then I have the, um, I'm adding the grapes now, which I actually end up cutting in half because it was just too much on the board since I had tons of things to get on here. I don't even think I ended up getting the Gouda on, but I did add the breadstick crackers that I usually get at Whole Foods, but you can get those at most local markets have an option for a breadstick cracker. And I did, um, if you can tell, I did cut the unexpected cheddar and I used that. I used the little pitchfork area to break off little crumble pieces. And then off camera as well, which I will link the video on how to make a salami rose. So that one I just placed right on the board as well as the maple cookies that I get from Trader Joe's. But I do know during the season, you can get those anywhere. I did cut up salami off camera. So I'm kind of just layering it where where I can fit it and get it. I'm starting to get things nice and tight because I still realize how much more I had to get on this board, which is always fun. And um, I did add some rectangular crackers next to the grapes. And now I am cutting up my Manchego cheese, which is one of my favorite Spanish cheeses. And then I'm just gonna fan it back and forth and flip them. And I always just love the way that looks. I did add from, I got these from TJ Maxx, the little orange macaroon cookies, and then the 36 degree round crackers that I replaced with half of those grapes. So now I'm getting the prosciutto, which I am basically folding in half and flipping like in a ribbon, like back and forth, back and forth in opposite directions. And those are gonna go right under the manchego and i'm just going to do it in a line because i still have again multiple other things to get on this board so that gouda i just i obviously ate that by myself off camera for the next couple days but i just couldn't get it on there because the main um cheese quote unquote cheese that i wanted to get was the dairy free borzen that i found at my market i had been so excited when i saw them share it on Instagram and it was just as good 
as I expected. Borzen, regular Borzen is delicious. And this was just as flavorful, had such a great texture, and it fit perfectly in this pumpkin ramekin that I had bought at my local market. And so I was just so thrilled to be able to find it. And now I'm now what I'm doing is visually seeing where there are some gaps, where there are some holes, what can I fill in? So I'm considering and putting an extra cookie. I do have these little truffle chocolates that Trader Joe's has every year that are shaped with fun fall things like corn and acorns and pumpkins. So I wanna make sure that I add those in random places to pop color. Now. Uh, I go through this moment where I'm trying to fill in that front spot. I got dried figs. Those were extremely hard and didn't work well. And then I ended up trying a different dried fruit. These orange slices were also extremely hard. I, I have a tendency of not closing my dried fruit very well. And so they dry out even more. And so of course I'm not gonna feed that to people. And uh, those were dried cherries, which I didn't like the color. So the dried cherries were perfect, but yet it was just too dark of a color and I didn't like the contrast that it had. So I found tangerines, which are always in my fridge because I have three children. And I um, just added them and that was like the perfect pop of color. And now finally I am adding this amazing jam that I got as a gift and I will try to find it and link it below. It was so so yummy and just bright and brought so much flavor and life to the goat cheese and you can totally get a goat cheese that's already has herbs on it or whatever but this was always fun to add a jam that's high high in flavor and just delicious together so lastly i am adding my beautiful flowers that i got i saw these flowers at Trader Joe's and they just had such a beautiful burnt orange color that I thought would go well with this fall board and then eucalyptus and just finding little spots to fill in. If, if it's not with food, it's going to be with something fun to decorate the last, the last bits of this board. So I hope you enjoy it. Happy fall. I hope you have a great and safe holiday. Thanks for watching.